Welcome to Design Indian, your ultimate destination for stunning photo manipulations using Photoshop. Hey everyone, today we have an exciting project where we'll transform a simple forest scene into a dark, mysterious environment featuring a human skull with deer horns burning with fire and a Jack Daniels whiskey bottle in the backdrop. Let's dive right in. First, I started with a black portrait canvas. I then selected a ground texture from a forest image and masked out only the ground using the brush tool. Next, I took another forest image to serve as the background. After carefully blending both images together, I adjusted the curves and balanced the colors to create a dark, bluish forest environment. To maintain consistency, I adjusted the curves and balanced the colors of the forest background as well. This helps in achieving a cohesive look. With the background set, I brought in the skull image, masked it, resized it, and placed it on the ground. Blending it seamlessly, I once again adjusted the curves and balanced the colors to match our eerie forest theme. Adding more detail, I applied an algae texture to parts of the skull, blending it in to give a weathered, realistic look.
Now for the fire effect. I masked the fire image, placed it within the skull, and used the brush tool to remove some parts of the fire, making it appear as if it's burning from inside the skull. Adjusting the curves and colors, I then added highlights to reflect the fire's light on the skull and ground. Next, I masked and placed the deer horns on the skull, resized them, and adjusted the curves, colors, and shadows. Adding fire reflection highlights on the horns made them look even more realistic.
For an additional touch of intrigue, I brought in a Jack Daniels whiskey bottle, masked it, placed it behind the skull, and adjusted its size. Curves, colors, shadows, and highlights were adjusted to integrate it perfectly into the scene. To finish off, I used camera raw filters to tweak the overall colors and exposure, giving the composition a final polished look. Adding a slight blur to the forest and parts of the ground enhanced the depth and realism of the scene. And that's it. We're done with the editing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Design Indian for more amazing photo manipulation videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.